So Unity just announced their brand new Terrain Tools package for Unity 2019.1 and it's really exciting because it's basically like an addition on top of the brand new Terrain system that they introduced in 2018.3. So in this video, we're going to check out the Terrain Tools package and see what it's all about, what's new, and how you can actually use it to get started with your level building. I also want to mention that this video is going to be a little bit more loose as in terms of what a tutorial video is normally like because I really don't want to hold your hand and be like, press this and click this because that's not really how you created terrain. So I'm not really going to do much of creative content in this video, but I'm just going to introduce you to the new tools and be like, this is how you use it and this is how you get started. So go, you do you now, you know what I mean? So my point is that if you have any questions about this tool or anything else regarding level design and game development and stuff like that, first and foremost, make sure to comment on this video because we're going to be super active and I will be super active as well. That's a promise, but let alone me it's a whole community of people who watches this, these videos so they're up you're, you're gonna be able to find an answer to your question and on top of that we also have a discord server for this community where you can find over 10,000 like-minded game developers which is going to be linked in the description box of this video so make sure to go ahead and join that right away so that you're part of that community and you can ask your questions start memeing legendary memes by the way just mentioning <laughs> so yeah go ahead and join that we'll be waiting for you and also this video is brought to you by Steel Krill Studio. Steel Krill Studio is an asset store publisher who's made assets like the Color Ball Bump 3D. It's a level-based, challenging, and fun mobile game template, and it's simple and yet completely instructional as to how you create something similar using Unity. It's also compatible with all platforms such as web player, mobile, iOS, Android, and desktop. This project is very easy to reskin and its main features are listed as this on the asset store page. Complete game with all features ready, easy to customize and reskin, game progress saving and loading, commented code, detailed documentation and optimized for mobile. Now if you want to check out Steel Krill Studio and their projects, make sure to go to the link in the description below. Alright, so with that being said, let's check out the brand new terrain tools. Alrighty, so here we are in Unity and I'm running Unity 2019.10 B6. All you need is pretty much Unity 2019.1 because that's the version they stated this feature or this package in this case is supposed to work on. So as you can see, I just have a very pretty much an empty project and an empty scene opening Unity and this is just the regular 3D project so it's not using any of the you know lightweight render pipeline or HDRP or anything crazy like that so yeah let's get started so first and foremost I just want to show you guys just so that we have like a very clear kind of comparison between what it's like using the regular terrain tools in Unity and what it's like after importing the package. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my hierarchy and right click, go into 3D object and then create a new terrain. And so in the terrain component, if I click where it says raise or lower terrain, you can see that we have paint, set height, smooth height and stamp terrain. And obviously the raise or lower terrain option as well, but it's kind of limited. So we don't really have the sculpting options that they've been talking about. So in order to get them, what we're going to do is we're going to need to import the package, the new terrain tools package into our Unity project. And we do that by going to window and then entering the package manager. So just a quick note in here, um, as you can see, I have a very long list of packages available in Unity. But if you can't see all of these options that I have on my screen right now, you should definitely go to advanced and make sure show preview packages is ticked on because this is a preview package, obviously. So we're just kind of like filtering them in. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to browse to the bottom pretty much and we're going to hit terrain tools and then click on install. All right, so the terrain tools package is now fully imported into our project. Now you can see that we have a brand new button that appears at the top of the screen here, which says download asset samples from the asset store. And so if we click this, it's actually just going to bring up the asset store page for the terrain tools sample asset pack by Unity themselves. So obviously this is a pack that is available for free made by Unity. So you can just hit open in Unity and it's going to open it up in Unity. Which feels kind of obvious to me, but I still want to say it because it's like a beginner's guide. It's funny though, some people usually like, not everyone who's watching my videos are beginners to Unity. So some people are like, why are you showing this step? And I'm like, ah, it's supposed to be for everyone. <laughs> anyway, so we're just going to import this package and just wait it out. All right, so now we have a 
brand new folder called samples, which is imported into our assets folder. So I'm actually not 100% sure if this is needed or not, but what I'm gonna do just for the sake of it is I'm gonna remove the terrain game object from our scene and then create a new terrain game object to replace it. And as you can see now, we have multiple brushes here instead of just like the seven or eight ones that we had. And on top of the brushes, we can also hit razor lower terrain and see a bunch more options now, including sculpting. And actually speaking of which, let's go into sculpt and then pick noise. So this is called the noise tool. And now if we browse down here, you can see the regular, the very common terrain settings like the, the brush strength, the size and everything like that. So I normally just set the strength to be low, something like this. And then on top of this, we also have noise height tool settings. So let's actually browse down a little bit more and you can see a field called new no, <laughs> news noise field preview. So we can actually play around with this fully so we can move it around like this and zoom out and we can also zoom in. And if we hover our mouse over this exclamation point for more information, you can see a full instructional guide on how to use the preview and it also says that we when we drag our mouse so we basically just like move around the texture the, the noise texture it pans the noise field and changes the noise translation so it's actually affecting the noise itself and now that we have that set up we can actually paint on our terrain as we want to and we can also switch between different brushes obviously so we can pick a new one and even use the brushes that were introduced through the asset pack that we just imported so these new brushes actually make it very easy to sculpt your terrains because as you can see they're kind of like formed or shaped in, in a way that kind of suits the different types of landscapes you might want to create like with the sharp edges and stuff and we can also rotate the brush so we can make it more flat like this if you want to and play with a bunch of different settings like brush spacing all right so I just created this very simple little kind of like landscape I guess you could say <laughs> very small terrain here one more thing I love is under effects we have something called sharpen peaks and this makes building level so much easier because look at this you can just add any kind of fine detail you want with this and obviously I'm not doing anything professional right now I'm just like literally you know drawing across um, but this makes it really easy to get these like, you know, kind of like rocky formations that you want to have. You can build any kind of path using this as well. Kind of makes it look like a cloth right now, doesn't it? <laughs> and once again, using hydraulic erosion, I'm just making like a little path for my terrain. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use the tools. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys is if we go to window, um, we're going to have a brand new option here called terrain and then terrain toolbox. So we can click this. And this is a window introduced with the new package, obviously. So first and foremost, we have the option to create a brand new terrain. So if you don't want to do what I did with right clicking in my hierarchy and then picking to create and stuff like that for a terrain, you can just hit create here and it's going to create a terrain for you. And the beautiful part about this is that you not only have the option now to like create a terrain and then start playing with the settings, but you can actually do it right away here. So you can set the width, length, height, start position, you know, tiles and stuff like that. And we can also select a preset or and we can also create a terrain over a preset or pick to create a new preset out of the preset that we have currently picked so for instance here i can say that i want to save as and then simply pick to save and now we have a preset file that is created as an asset file so now i can literally just drag it and drop it into here and create a new terrain out of this preset you can also change the terrain settings from here, such as like basic settings. So we could set the material, set cast shadows and stuff like that. All the way to things like terrain utilities, such as terrain edit, splat maps, terrain layers, or even height maps. So yeah, I don't want to make this way too long because they're really like really this feature is all about you trying it out for yourself because I could have like a speed design process of whatever I do in this new tool set but it's really not gonna like teach you anything so I just want to show you guys the basics and get you started and then you can do you can do you but still obviously if you have any questions about this or really anything else um, let me know in the comments because I'm very active there 
And on top of me being active, we actually more importantly have the community that's very active as well. So you can always feel free to ask your questions. All right, so that should be a pretty descriptive overview of what the new Terrain Tools package is for and how you can get started with it. And that's pretty much the main purpose of this video because I really didn't want to be like, this is how you create a terrain in five minutes because that's not really how it works. Um, I just want to show you guys what the feature is all about and get you started. And I mean, this is kind of like a little bit more loose of a tutorial video and it's I, I kind of want to hear what you guys think of this like if you like this kind of tutorial let me know in the comments or if you don't like this and like the more hand holding and being like now press this and this is how you create something let me know in the comments as well because I, I somehow don't want to be way too basic but at the same time I don't want to be way too intermediate either because I want to find a perfect balance in between which is impossible but I want to be as close to that point as possible and speaking of which if you have any questions or need help feel free to ask in the comment section and also join our discord server where we have over 10,000 like-minded game developers who love to help chat ask questions share their progress meme and complain about YouTube and all sorts of things so you can join our discord community by going to the link in the description of this video now if you enjoyed this video and want to see more make sure to give this video a thumbs up to show some support and hit the subscribe button to stay up to tune for new content because we're gonna do a lot more level design kind of content Content, so you definitely don't want to miss out. So with that being said, I'm gonna be super active in the comment section and in our discord server So I look forward to see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Have a good night and peace out guys yeah.